Hi, I'm Erica Hamungana, studying Bachelor of Science in the Dwight Ferry at Colegio de Iligan, Iligan City. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the donning and doffing of sterile gum. But first, I will give a brief discussion about what surgical gum is. Surgical gum is a personal protective garment intended to worn by healthcare personnel during surgical procedures to protect both patient and both healthcare personnel from the transfer of microorganisms, body fluids, and particulate matter. All members of the surgical team are responsible to know the following facility policies on surgical attire. The policies should include the following AORN recommended policies. Surgical attire should be clean, freshly laundered, and facility approved for use only within the surgical suit. Surgical attire should be changed daily or more frequently if it becomes soiled. So, surgical attire should be prepared in designed, designed, designated containers after use. Home laundering is not recommended because of the potential of contamination of the home from the healthcare facility from the home. Unscrubbed personnel should wear button or snap long sleeve jackets to, to, to contain bacteria shedding from the arms. The surgical attire selected should completely cover other other garments worn beneath them. If a two-piece pencil is worn, worn, the top of the suit scrub should be secured at the waist tuck into the pants or fit close to the body. Personnel should cover all head and facial hair including side bands and the necklines within the semi-restricted and restricted areas of the surgical suit. Mask must be worn in the restricted area of the OR suit when opening sterile items and equipments are present. The mask should fully cover the nose, mouth, and be secured for the conform of facial contours and prevent venting. Surgical gown should be selected by facility and should meet certain criteria. The materials used in disposable gown and drapes must be appropriate to the methods used to sterilize the products. They should resist combustion, be comfortable, enable the wearer to maintain an isothermic environment, and demonstrate a favorable cost-benefit ratio. The gown is in its sterile package. is folded in such a way that a scrub, a scrub person can put it on without touching the outer because the outer area is, is the sterile part side with a bare hands the scrub person therefore may don his or her own surgical gown or be gone by another scrub person that has wearing a gown and wearing a surgical gloves gloves of one of their of one of him or her team. Optimizing gown protection through proper donning and doffing procedures. Step one: self-gowning procedure. To don the gown properly, the scrub person should cast the folded gown at the neckline and lift it directly from upward from upward from upward to the sterile package. Step back from the table into a, an, an obstacle area. Carefully locate the gown's neckband and help and, and hold inside the front of the gown just below at the band with both hands. Step 2. Allow the rest of the gown to unfold. For instance, if the gown does not naturally fold down and open, you can use a quick down, downward, uh, down, downward snap, snapping like like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can do a quick downward snapping motion to help fully open the gown and prepare of donning. Let the gown unfold and keeping the inside of the gown facing by the body without touching the sterile exterior of the gown. Now, if the gown does not unfold completely, circulating nurse may assist by pulling down. Before donning your gown, Make sure that you will perform surgical hand washing.
After the surgical hand washing, suppose that I already opened the outer and the inner wrapper of my gown. So, to don the gown properly, the scrub person should gasp the folded gown at the neck and lift it directly upward from upward from the sterile package. Step back from the table into an obstacle area. Carefully locate the gown's neckband and hold the inside front of the gown just below the band with both hands. Hold the hands at the shoulder level and slip both arms into the sleeves of the gown until the hands reach the nearest edge of the cuff. Close fasteners and tie the waist tie. Untie the waist tie. Pull the shoulders of the gown to break the closure. Then roll the gown down the body inside out into a ball to ensure fluids and contaminants are contained. Then this pose. Use some alcohol for disinfectant. 